very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bryce. Bryce. That was, that was fantastic. fantastic. Well, nice to come back. First, I want to first thank God for this day and for this opportunity to be here in our country. We are so blessed uh, to be here. Um, so I want to just say that out loud because it's so important. Uh, every day we begin in prayer and we are blessed that we're able to do that. Um, so thank you. Um, <clears throat> Today is such an important day. First, I want to thank Mr. Mergens here for donating our flag that we're going to raise today. And our flag is such an important symbol of our united country. You know, the 50 stars for each state of federalism, 13 stripes for our original colonies, and the colors of red for courage and zeal blue for loyalty and truth, and white for purity and honor. We honor our flag as we continue the tradition of raising old glory daily. So thank you, Mr. Burgess, for donating our flag. As we embrace today's festivities, I just want to say a few short words. If you see me choke up, or even begin to tear up, it's because I have a, a special attachment to uh, today. I know that many of you feel the same way. And as I begin, I, I think of two words, love and sacrifice. Those two words are so similar in so many different ways. Those two words embody every veteran here today. St. Thomas Aquinas wrote, to love is to will the good of another. To love is to will the good of another. Powerful. And that's what we're called to do every day is to love one another, to give ourselves to the service of God and to our neighbors. Whenever we give ourselves in this way, we sacrifice our own wants and our, sometimes our needs. And this is not an easy thing to do. But love, real love, calls for everyone to give up something. And whether it's just your time, sometimes doing your favorite activity, spending time with family, which many of our servicemen and women do. But that's what we're called to do, to love, to sacrifice. My father, a Vietnam War veteran instilled this in me. And, um, <laughs> every Christmas, my, my father places a um, short timer stick under our Christmas tree. And it's been tradition in my family since I was yay big that we pray to all our servicemen and women. And we pray that they honor our flag and the colors and what it represents. You know, the red for courage and zeal, blue for loyalty and truth, and white for purity and honor. And with this, with that in mind, we now raise our flag to honor the United States of America.
pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to call up Melody Thompson and Marcus Hammer to sing our national anthem. broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave Under the direction of our music teacher, Miss Callagher, we will now sing God Bless America. Mr. Benjamin Unrhyne, if you could make your way forward. And before I hand the microphone off to Benjamin, I do want to recognize that this year is the 100th anniversary of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. I know that if you have gone there to Arlington Cemetery, it is such a powerful, powerful experience. So I do want to recognize that this is the 100th year of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Benjamin, I'm going to turn this over to you. In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row. That mark our place in the sky, the larks still brightly singing fly, scares her the aimed guns blow. We are the dead, short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, sun says their glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, from hauling fans we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high, be brave faith with us who die, we should not sleep, the poppies grow in Flanders fields.
At this time, I would ask veterans, current military personnel, family members of currently serving military members to come forward. We would like to welcome you and thank you for your service. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to give a special thanks to the VFW Post 1767 in Winooski, Post Commander Bob Lamore, Navy veteran, Vietnam War, Post Senior Vice Commander Sarge Assange, Navy veteran, Vietnam War, and Post Quartermaster Craig Levine in Air Force, Vietnam War. Also, a special thanks to the VFW Post 782 in Burlington. Post Service Officer Michael Kavar, uh, Army Iraq veteran. Thank you very much. <laughs> At this time, I would like to introduce our special guest speak speaker, Master Sergeant Juan Coleman. Master Sergeant Coleman is a graduate of Norwich University and has served in Vermont Air National Guard for 12 years. He currently serves as flight chief and is a member of the recruiting and retention team for the Air Guard. Please join me in welcoming Master Sergeant Coleman. Well, first and foremost, I want to thank my personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for everyone being here today, being happy and healthy in the and the blessings that are around us. And also I wanna thank him for allowing me to be here today. I'm not from here. I'm actually from North Carolina. Came up to Vermont, went to college, loved to leave so much I decided to stay. <laughs> 12 years later, here we are, right? Uh, but today I kinda of wanted to talk about love, sacrifice and courage, and just some of the community and what serving in this uniform actually means to me. So I'm going to start with love. In the Bible, it specifically states in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 and 8, what love is. It gives us a definition. And last night when I was praying, I said, God, just give me the words. Speak through me. You know, give me, tell me what to say. And he said, one, when you're talking about love, it's not dependent on feelings. Love is the most powerful force that we have in this world. It can overcome and conquer anything. And having love not be dependent on feelings is what actually makes it so strong a wise man once said you can give without loving but you cannot love without giving and that actually stuck with me because i realized love heavily heavily involves giving and that ties into sacrifice when i think about definitions of things i think about the true essence of what those things are and sacrifice and the true essence and nature of the word is actually giving up something valuable in order to help a greater cause. And that is one of the things that the men and women who wear this uniform, the veterans that we have, some are here with us and some are not. That's exactly what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. But it's not just them. It's the kids that give up something as well. It's the parents, it's the spouses, it's the brothers, it's the sisters. When we have certain efforts go on throughout this nation, whether it be a war or any type of effort, the community gets involved and helps out with those efforts. And that leads me into courage, which is probably all encompassing because you can't have love without sacrifice and courage. I humbly believe based on my experience now, when I first joined as a young airman in 2010, 
to right now standing before you today, my definition of courage has actually changed. Every single person out here has courage and embodies it on a day-to-day -day basis, whether you realize it or not. Courage is actually doing something when you don't know what the end result is going to be. That's the true definition and the true essence of courage. These kids here, every single day you go to school, you don't know what the end result's gonna be. You have courage. To the teachers, to the men and women on the front lines, every single day, in this day and age we are living in, everybody's the body of courage. We all have it, it's just up to you whether you access it or not. I had the opportunity and the pleasure of meeting General Charles McGee, who was one of the original Tuskegee Airmen. He recently turned 102 years of age. When we met, he told me something. Give me a minute. He told me to carry the torch, and I didn't, I didn't really know what that meant. I didn't really know what that meant. And last night when I was sitting on my couch thinking of what I was gonna say, I realized what he meant. I couldn't carry the torch without love, courage, and sacrifice. I'm gonna say it again. You can't carry the torch without love, without courage, and without sacrifice. I know what I do, but I also realize I realized why I do it. And it's because of y'all. I don't need to look far to figure out what my why is. When I look right here and I see two young men that I helped join and enlist into the Air National Guard, that's my why. So today, wearing this uniform, people are gonna tell me thank you for my service. But to the teachers, law enforcement, everything, I have to thank you for your service too. Thank you for allowing me to speak today, I appreciate it. That was extremely powerful. <laughs> You are totally right. Love, courage, sacrifice. Carry the torches for all of us from generation to generation. And it's so important that we remember that. I'm going to ask for a moment of silence. For all those members of the military who are no longer with us. And in this moment of silence, we're going to be playing taps. <laughs> 